I'm sure you can all relate. It's easy to stay good when it comes to diet and exercise when you're at home and everything is in your control, but once you go on a trip, it all gets way harder. It doesn't even matter if it's a trip for work or for vacation, you're at the mercy of the food that is available wherever you are. And then you might be out working or enjoying yourself all day that you don't have a chance to work out. For someone like me, it's a very common occurrence, especially lately as I've been pretty constantly on the go for both work and pleasure. And as someone who lives with type 2 diabetes, being as good as possible while on the move can be even harder. So it's important that I keep an eye on my health and my glucose levels in particular, even if I decide to indulge while I'm on those trips. And that's why having the best possible tool to track all of that has been great for me. And it's right here on my arm. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? Let's talk about how the Dexcom CGM helps me stay on top of my health while on the go. Before we get started, I want to give a big thanks to Dexcom for having me as one of their Dexcom warriors. They do provide me with Dexcom CGMs, uh, the Dexcom G6, and now this is the Dexcom G7, and they provide them not just for my own personal use, but so that I can share with all of you one of the best methods of health tracking through continuous glucose monitoring. I have already done a video on the Dexcom G6 that explains its functions and the connection to my techie lifestyle, and you can watch that video later in the link that is appearing above and is in the description below. I will still give you a brief overview of Dexcom CGMs in a bit, but let's first talk a bit generally about why tracking and monitoring glucose is so important. After all, you might have heard the phrase from time to time, no days off. It can mean different things to different people, but generally it means that you're always disciplined and you're always working to be on top of your goals. That can connect to things like fitness metrics or just eating well. But for an individual living with diabetes, uh, no days off kind of means both. Living with type 2 myself, I do take oral medication for my hyperglycemia. Uh, diet and exercise are my main ways that I control my glucose levels otherwise. So as a blanket term, I make lifestyle choices in order to keep my levels normal. If I were to take an aggressive, no days off approach, that would mean I'm never missing a day of working out, I'm always eating the right way, and I never ever falter. If you're the kind of person that can make that happen, I applaud you, because it's really hard for me. It's easier to maintain when I'm at home and everything is in my control, as I mentioned earlier. However, I clearly travel quite a lot, and it's through enjoyment and food that I experience other cultures and create memories with my loved ones. So because of that, um, I actually think of no days off a little bit differently. But before I give that perspective, let's explore how Dexcom CGM, in particular, the Dexcom G7, supports all of this. So for those of you who might not already know, diabetes management can be supported by consistent checking of one's glucose levels. Normally, tracking takes on the form of finger pricking. Before using the Dexcom CGM, I personally was pricking my finger every morning and then at certain intervals after meals throughout the day. Uh, that's a tiny bit of pain at multiple moments throughout the day, and basically, it's a lot of work. And then when traveling, it's yet another thing that I have to remember to do. Heaven forbid I ever misplace or forget my glucose meters when on the go, especially during travel, because then I wouldn't be able to check my glucose levels. And that's where the Dexcom CGM, in this case the Dexcom G7, is a pretty huge game changer. The system consists of a small sensor that I apply to my arm. The sensor remains on my body for 10 days at a time, providing readings of my glucose levels every five minutes through a transmitter that is built in to a connected reader or compatible Bluetooth enabled smartphone, effectively eliminating the need for constant finger pricking altogether. And having those numbers every five minutes means that I can track the trends of my own body. It all helps with making the right decisions for my health and wellness by providing a level of data that makes sense of how I might be feeling Healing. Every 10 days, the sensor gets replaced. Uh, however, once you get to the end of those 10 days, the Dexcom G7 provides a 12-hour grace period, which is really useful. And 10 days of constant readings is way better than the basically countless amounts of lancets and test strips and the finger-pricking glucose monitoring method. Okay, so that's a general look about Dexcom CGM. So what does that have to do with no days off? Well, rather simply put, I view no days off as a way of describing the data I now have at my disposal, no matter where I am. And this is very important, especially when I'm traveling, like I have been a lot recently. I make sure to have my Dexcom CGM on, whether work or vacation bring me out to various places where I inevitably have to try out, let's say, the local foods. Of course, that would entail a mix of glucose-raising carbs and maybe sweets that are often hard to ignore 
an oar. But because I knew where my body was before each bite and I could see what might happen after each meal, I had a better idea of what to do in response to my body's actions. Perhaps the next time I would go out, I would make more specific adjustments because I was recovering from a previous meal and I had the data to prove it. Addressing my numbers could be as simple as taking a longer or more rigorous walk after the next meal. Personally, I hardly would ever go low, but I would know if I did and get some juice or a bit of sweets to counteract that hypoglycemia. All right, so that brings me to a story that I promised to tell in my previous video that I did on the Dexcom G6. As I just said, I pretty much never go too low in my glucose levels, but the Dexcom CGM is geared to give a big warning sound if that ever does happen. And one time, it actually did, and it was a somewhat harrowing experience. So this time I was on a work trip. As one does during those situations, I was out with my peers and friends and I had some drinks. It was also at this time that I was adjusting my diet to be more plant-based. But on this particular night, I stuck to the vegetables while still having a few too many servings of tequila. So a low carb meal, my diabetes medication, and all the alcohol. I did not even notice until later in the night when my levels finally got below the threshold for the urgent low alarm in the Dexcom G6 smartphone app. The alarm was really jarring to say the least and it woke me right up after which time I saw the number. At first I wanted to wait it out a little, see if it would come down on its own now that I'm awake and aware, but as it continued to reach a level of 50, I knew I had to do something. So I called room service, I said I was having a diabetic episode of sorts, and that I needed some soda or some orange juice. Here's the best part. They came really quickly and brought a spread of juices along with a few bars of chocolate, telling me to please feel better and to let them know if I needed anything else. Also, all that stuff they brought was on the house. So they were really nice about it. Even more so later on when I noticed that the same chocolate bars were consistently being put on my bedside table by the housekeeping for the rest of the trip. Needless to say, I specifically learned during that trip that my body was starting to have larger reactions to alcohol, given the diet that I was experimenting with, especially when my medication was included with the meal. I think about it every single time I go out now, which is, in its own way, me reminding myself that I have no days off. And clearly I'm not perfect every single day at only eating or doing specific things. Instead, I just know and have the assurance that the Dexcom CGM is monitoring my body so that the numbers are in sight. And that's the importance of having the right data and the right tool to get it to me constantly. And so there you have it, a couple of stories where Dexcom CGM came in particularly handy. In my upcoming videos on the Dexcom G7, I'll talk about how the continuous glucose monitor can connect to other parts of a tech lifestyle, so look forward to all of that by subscribing to my channel. To get more of my perspective on the Dexcom G6, like I said before, I have a video that is appearing right now above and you should check it out via those links also down in the description below. Let me know your thoughts and questions by hitting the like button and by getting into the comments. But from there, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and listening to my stories. Please take care of yourselves and each other and enjoy your tea, everybody.